Hello and welcome to part 3. In this video we're going to start off by creating the character or the pawn that we're going to be using for our character. So under the virtual reality BP we have the folder called blueprints and we have the pawn called motion control pawn. And for now, I'm going to be moving this up to the mannequin folder because I want to work up there. So I'm also going to rename this to be called character. My character. And then I'm also going to create a, an animation blueprint based off the SK mannequin skeleton and call this my MVP. So let's open up the my character here. And as you saw, this is just a pawn right now. And it only has a camera and a VR origin and a default scene route. So uh, in order to get a body in here, we want to add a skeleton mesh. Let's just call it mesh for now. And we want to select the SK mannequin body, which is this one. And you can see it's rotated wrongly, so we're going to add 90 degrees to this. Or subtract. And then we're going to set the anim class to be the my NMVP and then save and compile so if we take a look at what we have inside here and switch to the event graph we have some stuff on uh, an, an event tech and we have some input for the teleportation and for grabbing and some additional stuff for teleportation and also some begin play stuff which sets some variables and offsets and so on but the two things we want to focus on here is the left and the right controls so what we want to do here is to update or keep control or uh, track of where the controls are in space so this left controller and this right controller are both instances of this BP motion controller, which if you've seen the template before, is this one, which represents the hand. So we have a hand in here, which we will remove later on, but for now we're just gonna keep it. So back in the my character, what we want to do is to take this stuff here and expand it from event tech. And we want to take the left controller and get the motion controller for this. And again, the motion controller is a motion control component. So if you type add component get the motion control that is the component that we want access to and we want to get this in world space get world transform now the I can break works in component space so we need to transform the world transform into component or local space and we do that by taking our mesh and also getting that transform and then use the invert transform on this. The invert transform means that it's going to give us, if we give it a world to local, a world transform, it's going to convert it to a local. And local in this context means component space. So we're going to put that, let's say, somewhere here. 
So that was the left controller, and we want to also do the same with the right controller. Like this. And in order to get this converted, we use the node called combine transform, compose, sorry. You want to make sure that the A from this one is going in from the left control, and then for the mesh itself, which is the skeletal mesh with the body, goes into B. And you do the same for the right control into A, and this one goes into B. And the last thing we need to do is to get the position of the camera or the head which we're just going to get by getting the camera here and then get world transform and again we're just going to compose this transform going into A and the mesh into B so from the event tick we're just going to add a pin here and drag that down here and create a little reroute node here. So let's set these into values. So promote to a variable, call this the hand L. Promote this one. right hand and finally this one promote to head like this so with these values here we can now access them all save them or make a copy of them in the animation blueprint so from the event update animation we have this try get pawn owner already so let's cast this to my character and then replicate all these values to the animation blueprint Now I'm just going to call them exactly the same. Like this. So that means that now we have access to the positions of the hands and the head inside the animation blueprint and that is really what we need. So for now let's save everything and continue in the next where we will create the animation graph for this. So see you in the next. Bye bye.